Hello chess friends, in this video I'm going to show you ideas on how to start and grow your chess in a year. You can do the ideas from this video to get better in your rating. Let's dive right into it. After I graduated from high school, in this place we call it university, after graduation I met chess. So it was pretty late for me, although it depends on when you meet chess. If you are meeting chess now, it depends on your age, whenever you are meeting chess. You can start playing chess it depends on your passion if your passion is strong to learn how to play chess just go for it little did i know i will meet chess when i encounter chess i picked up interest in chess from the internet and ever since then there is no tutor there has been no person mentoring me there has been no teacher i developed everything i know now by myself because i searched for knowledge and i found them i checked the internet i watched youtube videos so this video is going to expose to you those things I did to get me to the level I am now. The first thing I conquered when I wanted to start chess was fear. Fear was my major challenge. When I saw the game, I was scared. Who would teach me? How can I know this thing? In my family, nobody is playing chess. My friends don't even know what is chess. Most of my friends, they know checkers. They know draft. The little of them know scrabble. But none of them know chess so i am like the black sheep in their midst only me bringing chess now to them i felt discouraged at the end of the day i discovered that if i can scale through knowing chess i'll be a special person in their midst so the fear of knowing chess i had to conquer it the thought of learning something new comes with challenges most times they include financial and support challenge you may not have the money to buy the chessboard. You may not even have money to surf the internet. Those days I had to go to the cyber cafe and check the internet to print out materials. I did not have smartphone. But along the line, I got to meet my elder brother who had smartphone. I checked his phone. I downloaded applications. I started learning chess from there. The books I read online, I, I downloaded them as PDF file. So from there, I started growing in my chess knowledge. The fear left me. So I had to overcome fear by counseling myself because encouraging myself to do chess was my strongest passion. Then, although I had time, I was not working at the moment. So I was free. So I had to commit my full period to learning chess myself. I downloaded the book. I think it then was Bobby Fischer teaches chess. I finished that book. That was where I started learning chess. I could not read chess notations, but when I found the beauty of chess, I was very happy to teach my younger brother. So, in my group of friends and my family, nobody, I had to overcome that fear. Then I kicked up. Now, my advice to you, once you found your interest in learning chess, go for it. Find a way to encourage yourself to push further and start learning chess. One place you can check for resources on how to play chess is the youtube go to the youtube there are lots of channels with tutorials on how to play chess kickstart your journey from there and grow your passion not only chess there are many other things too you can apply this idea to so the second thing you need to conquer also is self-doubt once you start doubting yourself any external factor will discourage you because science will always lead to discouragement when you are learning something new there will always be tough times in the road of your journey just remember, since you've started and or you want to start, something we always want to limit you. Do not yield to discouragement. Your zeal to achieve your goal comes with personal belief. Let no one create unnecessary doubt and pressure. Just stick to your plan to know them. Dedicate yourself to change. They will support you. Number three, when you meet condition one and condition two, it's time to level up. Now, how do you learn the chess in the first place? How do you even start? Learn chess basics from YouTube. Download an application. There are several chess applications that has inbuilt tutorial in them on how to start with many inbuilt arrows and tutorials on how to do different levels to get to know how to play chess. I can recommend some applications. There is Chess by AI Factory. You can check out Chess by AI Factory leechess.org, chess.com. These applications are mobile friendly. Once you download them, 
you can start learning chess from them. And to level up, once you start playing chess, to some level, you will need applications to solve puzzles. Lead chess application, chess.com application has in built menu where you can access your puzzle solving section. So you can grow from there. So you see the levels. First, you need to learn how to play chess. You got application, your YouTube channel, then you are growing. So, number four, after you met condition three and you've gotten the basic, try to join groups. There are a lot of WhatsApp groups, Facebook groups, even a lot of groups on Telegram you can join. So, you can join there. From there, you start getting updates on online chess competition or on the board chess competition where you can make new friends. This also enables you to interact and get someone who is better than you to put you through till you are up and doing. And if you know you cannot attend on the board tournament, going to locations, you can play from the comfort of your home via some applications I mentioned like leeches.org or chess.com. I believe this is enough to kickstart it from learning chess. At some point, you may feel you are buoyant enough to employ a tutor. Number five comes in, get a chess tutor. That is the easiest. But if you want to go on a low budget, for start, to know what you are going into, you can have access to number, number three and four. You can have access to number three and four, where you can download application and join WhatsApp groups so you can make friends, ask questions, get um, connected to some channels. Yeah, the owners of the channels are very interactive and friendly, so you can interact with them and learn just from them. If you have gone through these processes and you believe you can start playing chess, go ahead and start playing chess. So this category is for you when you want to grow in chess. What are the things you need to do? Good. One, you have to set a target. You cannot achieve 20 activities or 20 goals at the same time without having a target of achieving the first one, second one, step by step. With accumulative observations, you get the 20. That's how you grow. Because doing the 20 at a time may consume you financially, emotionally, mentally, and even take time. You see? So, but if you take your mission step by step, you can achieve a lot. So, set a target. With your newly found passion, here is the plan. Since you would love to grow as fast as possible, you should also try to spend less. Your growth comes with these following processes. One, get a mobile application for chess. In the mobile applications, there are levels to how their inbuilt engine plays and responds to you. Start from the lowest level, then you increase the difficulty step by step. You can commit yourself to the lowest level for three months or six months, the journey may be slow because you are learning on your own. Because we want a feasible result and we want a result that will stick, we want to give it time. So, three months is enough for you to practice with level one. The more you reduce your errors, the better you become. This level will enable you to observe the mistakes you make and how to overcome them. With time, you will discover that you, you can play on the mental level of that engine, then you can move to the next level. Now, number two, once you know you can play with level three of any application, switch over to lead chess and start playing with human. Start pairing yourself with human. Once you download lead chess and you register on the platform, You'll be given a default rating, a rating you can start with. That rating tells you your level at the moment. So once you play with your engine, let's say you have a program for six months, you have programmed your training for six months. For the first three months, you play with the level one engine. In the first month, you are very comfortable with level one. You move to level two in the second month. In the third month, you are in level three, for instance. Now, in the fourth month, Leave engine, go to leeches and play with someone. Match your skills with someone on leeches engine or leeches app. Connect to somebody and play one-on-one. -on -one. So you can level up and see 
how you can play against a human. Then once in a while, you can go and play on the board with your group of friends from that WhatsApp group or Telegram group or Facebook group where you made new friends when it comes to chess. Now, number two. We have talked about number one, setting the target. In number two, we have to inculcate practices that is not playing game. This practice has the same benefits of developing your tactical reasoning, your speed in calculation and evaluation. And that um, activity involves solving puzzles. Solve puzzles. Out of your six months of training, trying to get used to knowing about chess, try to solve puzzles in between. Dedicate some times, like a week, to solve chess puzzles. If it is two puzzles you can do, or three puzzles you can do, once in two days or once in three days, try and create time for it. Dedicate a time to solve puzzles. Start with simple endgame puzzles. Move to mid-game gradually. You can do a lot of simple endgames and migrate to advanced endgames. When you are saturated and comfortable with the number of knowledge you've gathered from end game, you can switch up to middle game, work on middle game. The way you reason on each level and each stage of chess game are different. For an end game puzzle, it is very easy to direct your attention towards making checkmate, creating pass pawn. You know, those are just minor ideas. So once you see a puzzle and you can Categorize it as an end game puzzle. Once you see it and you are the one to play in the puzzle, think of checkmate because we are in the end game. That's one. Secondly, if it is not too direct to the end game, you can watch out for creating past pawn, pawn promotion, bringing out a strong piece into the board so you can have advantage. There are just minor ideas involved. Some of these rook end games, some of these. Um, queen end games leads to direct checkmate. However, sometimes some rook end games lure you into thinking towards promoting a pawn, supporting and promoting a pawn, exchanging and getting the upper hand. Then the middle game at times you look for tactical ideas most of the times. Most of the time in the middle game you start sorting out for double attacks so that you can get material advantage. You start looking for um, fork attacks, skewer and so on and so forth, trapping an opponent's piece strategizing, re-maneuvering your pieces to active squares, and so on and so forth. That's for the middle game. Now, when it comes to the opening game, in the opening game, the game just started. What you need to do is to deploy your forces to maximum location where they can have influence over the board so that you can gain material advantage or space advantages. Most times, you develop the pawns towards the center, the minor pieces such as the knight and the bishop towards the center, Queen doesn't come out too early in the opening, so we keep the queen. First and foremost, you need to still remember that king safety is in line with your development. So as you are developing your pawn, you are developing your minor pieces, you need to opt in for king safety, where you can actually keep your king safe. And a special mechanism called castling enable you to develop your rook and your king. We have a short side castling, long side castling. Where the king is safe so if you can know the stage you are playing in for example the opening stage you know your goal is to keep your king safe so to get to king safety you have to pass through peace development and center control so you put your piece in the center bring your knight towards the center bishop towards the center cast your king at that point you have achieved some goals then you start connecting rook you might start connecting your rook creating a bishop and queen battery you are now moving towards the middle game. The middle game is start looking for tactical ideas such as the fork attack, double attack, skewer check, trapping the pieces. So this is enough about trying to level up with puzzles. Once you see a puzzle, don't rush to solve puzzles. We need to develop the tactical eye. Development is important in growth. So if you want to grow, you need to develop when it comes to thinking chess-wise. Number three, avoid playing fast games. You will be tempted because you are just coming up. In fact, I'm sure you check your level with those people you are playing fast games with. You feel it that you are not up to their strength yet. So why go for fast games? Just stay and play slow-paced games like 10 minutes, 10 plus 5 and develop slowly till you are strong enough 
to play fast games. Fast games include the bullet and the blitz. So, engage with more rapid time controls. Number four, pick two openings for white and two openings for black. You cannot play all openings at the same time. So, I would love to give advice on the opening you start with for white. You can start with playing e4 and learn openings connected to e4 when it comes to playing openings for white. Then the second opening, you can also stick with playing d4. So e4, variations connected to e4, you make research and see a variation connected to e4. Then for d4, make research and pick one and play and know their replies so you are strong with it. That's for white. Then for black, you need to make researches. There are simple, simple differences you can employ for black. There is Alakine defense. There is Karakhan defense. There is Sicilian defense. You can start with the Karakhan defense and also the Sicilian defense for restart. Then you can play 1e5 against e4 when white plays e4 against you. So you can play e5 to stop that pawn. And from there, you can develop yourself step by step, step by step since you are better. Five, engage with OTB chess tournament periodically. Once in a while, register for OTB tournament and play. Weigh and scale your development through that means. Get to play somebody one-on-one and you'll see your development. Your growth will be rapid within that year. Then lastly, well, you can check out other ideas from other creators. But lastly on this video, watch more educational chess youtube channels to get you the knowledge you need because the more you learn the better you become so you can go online download books read books try studying alone to buttress it all most people likes when um instructors explain these ideas so watch youtube channel to get more knowledge on the opening on the end game on the middle game and your chess game will be rapidly developed Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe to my channel for more if you haven't, and see you in more videos coming up. Thank you.